Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel, Reselling Farming Mom. For those of you that don't know, my name is Ashley and what we typically do on Sunday nights is we talk about everything I sold throughout the week and everything I'm shipping out tonight from my weekend sales. So let's get to it. First up, I'm gonna tell you a joke, courtesy of my son and the local Goodwill. Poop jokes aren't always my favorite jokes, but they're a solid number two. Thanks Goodwill and Mason. So let's talk about sales. Last week was, um, it was better than the previous week. I always tell you guys I'm up, I'm down, I'm all around. eBay is a roller coaster. I stole that from somebody. They commented and told me it was a roller coaster and I feel it and now I, I say it, it is. It's a constant roller coaster from, of ups and downs, high weeks, not so high weeks, but that's okay. Last week was a decent week. A lot of bread and butter sales, a lot of bread and butter sales are going out tonight as well. So let's talk about this week's sales, this last week's sales. So first we had a vintage 1995 Warner Bros. Foghorn Leghorn short sleeve t-shirt. Another Foghorn Leghorn item out the door. Super excited about that. It was less than a dollar in and it sold for $14. Then we had a set of four Corel Corning Ocean View soup cereal bowls. This was an awesome flip. I was $2 in on these. And the set of four sold for $24.90. For those of you that don't know, if you're new here, Corel is something big for me. I pick up almost all Corel I see and I sell a lot of Corel dishes and bowls. Not as much cups and mugs, but I do sell some of them. Tonight, I'm shipping out an awesome, awesome set of four plates. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Next sale of the week last week was a vintage Hall China forest green individual lidded Boston teacup or uh, Boston teacup Boston teapot. It was a two cup. It was really small mini. I think I paid two dollars for it at my local Goodwill. I didn't look it up. It said Hall on the bottom. I figured it'd be good. Um, it sold for eleven dollars, so I'm not sure if I would recommend picking it up. But it sold in less than a week, so. Then we had a Kaysen's Fine China Golden Rhapsody Vintage Gravy Boat from Japan, 1961. I have no clue how much I'm in on this. I don't think I picked this up at the thrift store. I think I got it in a haul because of where it was. I think it was a more recent gravy boat I've listed. I have one other one that is the gravy boat and the plate like all in one listed on eBay right now. So I don't know if I'm much in on it. I want to say I'm less than 50 cents. I think it was from my most recent haul of, you know, cleaning out someone's like kitchen area where I paid, I think I paid like $25 for everything that was in their hutches and it sold for $3. I wasn't too excited about it, so I wouldn't recommend picking these up. I've not had very much luck with them. Maybe you do. I don't like China. Fine China, I have not had much luck with at all. It looks pretty and fancy, but I cannot sell it. Speaking of China, the next sale was a vintage Japan yellow rose demi toss teacup and saucer with gold tea detailing, and they had yellow flowers all over it. Demitas, I learned that name from Nurse Flipper. It is a small teacup, not a miniature, but a small size teacup, even though teacups are quite small. And this, I was less than a dollar in. I believe I got this at the auction a while ago. It was last year, I think sometime, when I got the Swarovski crystal figurines. I think I got these with those. This teacup, less than a dollar in, sold for $10. Two more sales for last week. I told you it was not a huge week, but there were some good sales in it. I had a 
Tommy Hilfiger fishing lure, bow tie, and pocket square. I put the and in there and I probably shouldn't have. This is a very old listing. I was just starting out and listing other things, branching out. It was brand new. It had the packaging on it, but I put that and in there and I wouldn't recommend doing that. They could clearly see from the pictures it was all one thing. You could tie it into a bow tie or you could use it as a pocket square. That and I think is very important. I should have edit, edited that out. It should have been more of a slash because it's one thing, not two. I was a dollar in and it sold for $8, but it sat for, I want to say at least a year, maybe more. And then we have some clothes, a Leslie Faye charcoal gray 18W new with tags blazer jacket sold. This is from my estate sale buyout from last year. I still have lots of clothes left to list from that estate sale buyout. My last video, I kind of semi panned over to the racks. I have three racks of clothes left down here. I'm dragging my feet on listing them, but I have slowly listed some when I was running out of items to list this last winter. This charcoal blazer jacket is the reason why I am not getting donating the clothes because I know there's money there it's just I have to work a little harder for it the jacket I'm less than a quarter in on and it sold for $22.95 so that is a huge profit so those are all my sales for the week not huge but not something small to complain about I was out of it for two days this week I last week I was sick so I didn't do any listing I still hit this is the last day of the month. So I hit all my listings for the month, 250. I was super pumped about that, even with not listing for two days this week. I've been super busy though, ever since I got better and I've been feeling more energized. I've been super busy down here working on prepping VBS crafts. I am a volunteer on the family ministries team at my church. I play a big part in our VBS during the summer. It is not till July, but spring and summer are very busy around here. So I recently purchased a Cricut and I just got a heat press last week. So I have been pressing canvas bags. I made a 12 by 12 design and I've been weeding it. And I think I have five bags pressed out of well, it was supposed to be 60. I burnt one. So five out of 59 done. So wish me luck in that. It has been, it's not a beginner project that I signed myself up for. And I am a beginner cricket user. So pray for me. I hope they all turn out well and I do not need to order more bags. But I got a really great deal on them. So that is the most hands-on I have to do with that. But we hit a couple garage sales this weekend as well. Well, wait, I hit one garage sale and I hit um, the Goodwill. And we got some pretty awesome things to flip. I'm super excited about it. And I got this really cool rack to store cassette tapes on, even though I have cassette tapes in like four different places all listed. As you can see, I still have some cassette tapes behind me. I've been working on listing those and drafting those up for next month. I'm really excited. This is, I think, the first time ever I've had listings drafted up for the next month getting ready. So hopefully I can knock some more of that out tonight as well as work on a few more bags since it's Sunday night. And during the week, we're really busy now with sports. So it's just happening times around here. And I still have to run this business, right? So let me tell you about everything behind me that I'm shipping out. It's lots of crazy randomness right here. So let's talk about it. First was a pair of Apple wired headphones and there was new old stock Apple decals in here. So I picked this up at the bins in Indianapolis. It's very light. I paid, so I'm assuming I paid about 50 cents for this. And in the case, it is an iPod Nano case sixth generation but in the case was a set of they looked like new headphones but they're not and then I put that there was the new old stock Apple stickers in there because I don't think you get the Apple stickers anymore with your phones and things I know I didn't get one with my last iPhone I got so I listed that 
and it sold for six dollars so it's a not a huge profit but there's profit there and then i told you guys to stick around for the end for this awesome corral flip so last weekend i hit up a garage sale because garage sale season is starting to ramp up around here it's not full on but it's slowly trickling in this set of plates i was so stoked about when i listed so we ended up getting them about goodwill prices we had to buy the whole set at the garage sale which was fine because it came out to about 50 cents a piece my husband said it was just under 50 cents a piece this is the sincerely yours postage stamp dinner plates so i'm gonna bring it in a little bit this is an oversized corral dinner plate it is a 10 and a half inch but it's almost it's a little over 10 and a half. It's between 10 and a half and 10 and three quarters. And it's got a nice uh, lip on it. The set of four sold for $32. So check this plate. If you see these at your thrift, I would definitely pick them up to flip because it was an awesome profit. It's almost as good as the tulip corral plate. So those are the, so far, the two that I have come across that aren't the swirly kind that sell really good. Really good. Did I tell you I only paid $2 for all four plates? $2 in on those plates sold for $32. And I have another indie flip. Oh my goodness. So lots of things that we've picked up at the bins have already sold. I'm really surprised about that. This is a set of two well i put lot of two because they're not a set if they're not a set i put lot because i'm creating it not how you buy it so this is a lot of two zuru rainbow corns kitty corn surprise plush i put white and leopard milk carton that's all i could fit so this one's white and it has the poo emoji on it and this one is kind of leopardy and it has a little milk carton on it together they're maybe half a pound if that got them at the bin so i'm about 75 cents in on them and the lot sold for ten dollars good profit and they've been listed less than two weeks so fast flip <coughs> excuse me then we have a set of four anchor hawking Fire King white squirrel fruit bowls with the gold trim. So they are small bowls and they're the white swirl and you can see the gold and you see the swirl design on them. $2 in on these sold for $10. They're quite heavy. They're Anchor Hacking and they're Fire King, but these things have been listed for a really long time. I don't tend to have good luck selling this pattern of the fire king or the anchor hawking it's beautiful it's just i think there's a lot of it out there so two dollars in on all four berry bowls and they sold for ten dollars and then my husband told me i need to stop saying next so i'm saying and then <laughs> i'm not good at my transitions apparently we have three more sales going out tonight so this one, I probably could have got some more money out of it. I accepted the buyer's offer when I was half asleep. I don't recommend checking your eBay when you're half asleep in the mornings. So it is the Fisher Price Farm Box. And then there are 10 mini plastic farm animals in it. But they're not Fisher Price animals. So I think that's why I accepted the offer. There's all kinds, like there's a little lamb and there's some pigs and there's two farmers and I know these farmers go with like a different tractor and I think we sold the tractor last year in the garage sale but we went through all the toys in the living room and bits and pieces are starting to trickle and I know what things go to but I don't know if we have the things anymore so I'm trying to decipher what to do with them and I have like little piles of things hidden down here now. So I am $0 in on this. This is all things that came from upstairs that we are going to sell in our yard sale. And the box and the contents in the box sold for $8. Next, we have an ad. If you guys are sitting on old vintage magazines that you can't sell online, I highly recommend 
taking them apart as much as it hurts your soul and farming them for ads. I did that with, I think I only did two, 1957 Saturday Evening Post magazines. I might have done three, but I really think I only did two. And I have been selling the paper ads out of them. This one is a 1957 Rayon Tire Cord Print ad. It has Fire Department in Action and I put Manhasset. So I'm assuming that is the city. In the bags I use, I bought... By recommendation, I bought produce bags. Produce bags, a roll of them, comes out to be a lot cheaper than using poly mailers for them. Like the clear polys that you're using for clothes and plushes, I use those too. But they're not very big and the big ones are more expensive. But you can get these big produce bags a whole lot cheaper. I think it came out to three cents a piece. So, and I have a whole roll of them guys super cheap tons of them so if you're going to sell the ads i highly recommend the produce bags they're cheap they're great they work granted sometimes it's hard to slip the ads in but money is money so this ad sold for 5.65 if i had some more older magazines or some not as common as the post magazines I you should can sell your ads for more I am going to look into doing that once I get through this I have so much going on down here I don't know which way is up so like I said I've been cricketing I also last weekend my husband and I went and got the greenhouse out back already we had a couple panels we had to tape in I don't have a hard-sided greenhouse yet I have it's like a clear, it's like a hard plastic almost, like clear poster board on the sides. And last year during a large windstorm, it took our greenhouse and flipped it. And when we popped it back, one of the panels came out. So we duct taped about four panels in last weekend and we checked the lights. The lights did not work. Obviously they've been through a windstorm. So we ordered new lights. They should be here this week. So hopefully if you guys keep up, we should be having videos up of the greenhouse all set up because these tomato plants, they need more room. So that's what we're getting ready for right now. And once the tomatoes get more room out back, I also gain all this floor space back in my basement. And hopefully this isn't driving me so crazy because right now I have like a walkway, guys. That's it. A walkway <laughs> to work with. I had a whatnot sale last weekend and it was, it was interesting. I have a new ring light now because of it, because I tripped on the cord and I crashed my ring light and broke it. So I don't recommend that. Just saying. But the last sale of the night is another Corel. This is the Corel Blue Velvet Swirl Rose set, set of three. So I say set because they're all the same. So this is a set of three 7.25 inch diameter soup cereal bowls. These are the really nice size ones. They're not the small soup bowls. They're the larger ones. We use this size upstairs a lot, but we have both sizes. Set of three, I'm $1.50 in and they sold for $12.50, which is kind of low for the swirl pattern, but this blue is a lot lighter than the other blue ones that I have sold and the green the Callaway green sells a lot better too I'm not sure if it's just because I had an odd number what it was so I sold them for twelve and a half dollars it's an older listing and I'm really thankful I accepted their offer because they must be really far away from me I'm assuming in California or Washington or Florida because their shipping is really high so I'm glad I could pay it forward That's all I have going out tonight. I know I rambled a lot. I try to keep you guys up to date with what's going on here as well as what I'm shipping out because we are reselling Farming Mom. We don't just sell. We do lots of things here. I don't do uh, videos about do it yourself. I'm sure I could, but then I would have to figure out how to film them. And I hope you all have a wonderful and safe week and I will talk to you again soon. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe.